Hi, this is Splish and welcome to another Shadowline video on my channel. I recently posted a Shadowline video where I was talking about the good and the bad in the actual playtest which has now finished. I'm putting up a card here if you're interested to check out that video later. The game is now in early access, so I thought I would do a similar video, a follow-up video when it comes to the good and bad in the early access so far. This will of course probably change later down the line. I was at first a bit surprised that they decided to go early access already, but on the other hand, this game plays very well in its current state, which I talked about before when it comes to the plus side of things in Shadowline. And by getting into early access, they can also continue the development while getting continuous feedback from the community, instead of just having specific dates of playtesting. I also believe it might be a good time to go early access from a strategic point of view, since for example the new Call of Duty game Modern Warfare 2022 will be released later on this fall and it will definitely get a lot of focus and attention so being out there before that happens might be a smart move. Before we get into my thoughts about the early access so far you might have seen this message on your screen already. Login error. Please try again. And maybe later when it does connect you might get into a login queue. This is something new for me, but I guess there's been another kind of load now or stress on the servers compared to the playtests. However, I hope they find a way around this. It's partly on the downside of things, but also something that can happen when a game goes into the next phase. Gameplay-wise, Shadowline still performs well, and this is of course something that is both important, but also good for the developers to be where they are already now, about half a year before release. So this is definitely on the good side of things. But the time to kill, meaning the TTK, still feels too fast for me. Not so much in close range, but when you're having gunfights at longer distances, it seems as if some weapons need some drop off damage. I'm mainly thinking about SMGs, but also assault rifles to a certain extent. I mentioned this in my former video, and it's still a thing in the game, according to my experiences, that I believe they should look into. Probably one of the few, but also the biggest issue that I have with the game so far. I would also like to see a ping system, making it possible to see what kind of ping my opponents have, or at least some kind of indication meter showing whether they have a good or bad internet connection. I believe that should be a part of the system in a modern shooter nowadays, since it can explain sometimes why you get shot in a situation where you believe that you shouldn't have been shot. Or if the shots doesn't seem to register, although there can be other things involved when those kind of things happen. After a match is over, I would like to have a skip button, so I don't need to watch the best player moment or whatever it's called in the game all the time, and also what follows, meaning the XP shown, medal, stuff like that. When you're playing a lot, that can become a bit tedious in the long run, so I hope they'll add that. I would also like to be able to customize my weapons if I choose to continue playing after the match is over, without going back to the main menu and therefore leave the matchmaking queue. As it is right now at the moment, you can't do that, so hopefully that is also something they can fix. There's five tiers in the game, and from what I experienced in the playtest, you seem to be able to progress quite fast through tier 1, but when you get to tier 2, where I'm at right now, it almost feels like a halt, meaning that progress is much slower. I can understand that to a certain degree, but if it takes this long to go through tier 2 towards tier 3, how is it then when it comes to tier 4 and 5? Just a thought, since I would like to see that it's possible to level up a bit faster. But that's usually the case with me more or less in all games, so I would like to hear from you as well what you think about this. But that leads me into my next thought, and that is if the game will become play to win, meaning that those players that actually have the time to grind through the tiers and unlock more guns and attachments, will they have an unfair advantage? This depends on how you define unfair and how much better the higher tier weapons are compared to the lower tier guns. I can understand that players must feel that they get rewarded for spending time playing the game, but I can see a problem here later down the line when it comes to people that are just able to join in for a game or two a few times a week. On the other hand, the first tier weapons with the right attachments seems to be doing well against higher tier weapons from what I have experienced. As said, we'll see later down the line. So. If it's not play to win, is it then pay to win? 
Well, I'm not sure what kind of model they'll use when it comes to making some money in the game so far. Nowadays, most developers are well aware that it's important to play it fair and square, so we're usually just talking about cosmetic stuff, meaning skins and character customization options. If anyone has something to say about this, if you know something that I don't know right now regarding this matter or this question, feel free to put it in there in the comments. There's definitely more to it, but I think we're gonna stop here and I hope you enjoyed the video. I will maybe make a follow-up video and talk about things that has happened later down the line when it comes to the early access progress or progression that is going on here now with the game. And if you haven't tried out Shadowline, I think you should definitely do so. It is a fun to play game. And as mentioned earlier, it does perform really well. Well, we're gonna see if they do something about the stuff that I've talked about. Some of them are, of course, personal preferences. And again, let me know in the comments what thoughts you might have as well, or experience with the game. With that said, my friends, thanks a lot for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like since it happens to help me out here on YouTube. And if you wanna watch more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell. And I'll talk to you soon in another video. Thanks once more for watching and later. performance.